Oh, Regis Worldwide Radio here at the Don't Call Me On event. I got Demar Smith with me. The man, the no weakness, is in the building. How you doing today? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You're doing good today. I have a question. What's your motivation? What's your motivation? Well, my motivation is my brothers. They always pushing me and motivating me every day. My parents, my mom and dad are always pushing me, motivating me, encouraging me. And that's my motivation every day, to wake up and inspire the kids and uh, chase my dream. That's what's up. Listen, are you the oldest one or are you the youngest one or are you the one in the middle? I'm the, mo I'm the one in the middle. You the one in the middle? Yeah. This is surprising, you know, because out of my three brothers, I'm the older one. I feel like I'm the motivating one. You <laughs> know what I mean? My middle brother, he just kind of stands there. But now I want to ask you, how good are you in basketball? I'm, I'm very good in basketball. I was very good. Very good. I give myself um, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10? All right, cool. So what's gonna, this is what's going to happen. You're going to dribble the ball, and I'm going to try to steal the ball for you. Okay. All right, you ready? Check it out, Regis Worldwide Radio here, at Nicholas Party, Girlfriend's Trending Topic, and I'm here with Daniel G. What up, Gene? What's going on, man? You doing, doing good? Yeah, I'm good, man. All right, so let's start talking about your skits. You know, people do a lot of funny skits, but they're kind of like irrelevant, things that couldn't happen. But I feel like a lot of your skills, they're grounded on reality. Why is that? I don't know. I was, I was stressed out, and I said, I can't curse, right? No, you can curse. I was stressed out, I was stressed out and I just said, fuck it. My skits, you know when you're thinking about doing something to somebody? Well, I'm actually doing it. Like, I feel like slapping the shit out this nigga. So I slap the shit out this nigga, or I throw this nigga no, somewhere. No, no, you said something funny, right? So you, there's, cause there's certain shit that I think of, I can't do it. You can't like, do it. Like, you know what I mean? So now, how, how, what switched? What switched that day that you were like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna do it? I think I was hitting up a, a bunch of people to do videos or whatever, and they all kept dubbing me. And I was like, you know what, fuck this. Let me just go all out. All right, perfect. Now, here's a tricky question. Who's more attractive? Shaquille O'Neal or you? Of course, me. You are of course. Of course. 100%. Yeah. It's so not even a question. Oh, okay. Now, can you dunk on him, though? Hell yeah, in 2K. You're going to dunk on Shaquille O'Neal? Yeah, in 2K. Listen, 2K Shaq, is, Shaq is going to watch this video. Yeah, tell him to watch it. Bring it. No, you sure? Yeah. Father. Yo, Shaq, you already heard it here on Richard's Worldwide Radio. Bring You're going to get dunked on by the Q nigga. Everything. You heard it? And body slam. Woo! Thank you for the interview. Sit down, brother. I got a part. I got a part. Baby. Tell me a bit more about you, motivational speaking. Tell me more about that. Um, last year I spoke out about being sexually abused as a child, and now I'm just giving other females a platform to, you know, tell their story. But at the same time, being entertaining. It don't have to be a sob story all the time. You know, find ways to encourage each other and have more confidence in our communities. I'm from North. Great. Now I so you're talking about this. So how how attached are you to the Me Too movement? I actually did what I did before that movement even started, um, but now I have no choice but to be attached. You know, I got to stand with other women, you know, speaking truthfully against things that's going on with us, you know, as far as abuse. So, um, I've done a lot so far. Now, I have a question. How great does it feel to know that you've made this impact in the community? And um, I'm pretty sure people have reached out to you saying thank you. Uh, I get to thank you every day. I knew it was big once I, like, was in the paper, you know, once I started getting bookings, you know, with them radio stations like Power 105 and Hot 97, so um, even Ebony, Ebony Magazine. So now that I know that I did an impact, which I thought was just something small to me, but it was such a, such. Great. I don't know, I'm a little overwhelmed that I'm even having this interview. <laughs> I really appreciate this. I came here to ball, though. You came here to ball? I definitely came Yo, here listen, to ball. Listen, I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to get in the game, though, but I mean, we, could, we could do a one-on-one, -on -one, you know? I might do a surgery on your ankles, yeah. but you know. You might lose. But it all uh, I out. highly doubt I'm gonna lose though. You know what? We're gonna listen, we're gonna come back and we're gonna put that to the test. We just roll the wide. We'll see. Regis Roll Wide Radio here reporting live from Don't Count Me On event. Listen, we got the halftime report for you, and we are here with the with the what you, you would say you're the MVP right now? That's fair to say, that's fair to say. How many points have you scored? Give or take 27, 28. Give or take. 27, 28. I, don't now, count, I, want, I want you to look at the scoreboard though. It's it's 23 to 19. How do you score 27? They gotta review some of the threes that I took. They said my foot was on the line, I say it's not, but they got the cameras out here, so we're gonna review it. I should have about 
35, 30 years. Like, oh, oh, okay, cool, cool, sure. Uh, now, question. Do you think you've been hacking? Because that's the rumors on the court, that you're hacking. Who said that? Uh, you grabbed one of the girls by the ways. You pushed little man. I got, hey, yo. That, that, <laughs> that's debatable. That's debatable? I, I feel like they fouled me. I'm about to start oh. calling my own fouls, honestly. Uh, oh, you're going yeah. to be a player at the ref. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling my own fouls from now on because the ref, he missed about four of my calls. Now, listen, I want you to give me a projection at the end of the game. Will you have a triple double? Or who are you going to dunk on? Tell me something good. I know we're going to win. I know that for a fact. And I should have about 40 something. 40 something. 40 something. I'm going to hold you to that. 42 points, 6 or 7 rebounds, 12 assists. 12 assists. 12 assists. 12 assists. I got like 7 already. I got like 7 already. Uh, okay, I'm going to believe him. I'm going to believe him. I got like 7 already. All right. Listen, you got any new projects coming up? I got a couple things I'm working on, but uh, not, not, no, 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 no release date. So they just got playing by air. They got to keep watching. All right. They got to stay tuned. Go. Brother. Legend. We just roll right radio here, and it was party, girlfriend trending topic. I'm here with Abby Al, Jersey City Zone, you already know. Yeah. Listen, by the way, I grew up in Western so I kind of know what goes down to Jersey City. Okay. But now, I want to talk to you about like all the negativity that's going around. You know, your party's getting shut down, the cops trying to like hassle you for that. Like, how do you stay optimistic with all of this going around? I ain't gonna lie, I be frustrating, it bothered me a lot. I think that's their plan, they wanted, to get, they wanted to get to me and bother me, but I just try to stay positive or whatever because they, they never see the good, they only remember you for the bad, you know what I mean? Sure. No matter how much good you do, so it's doing stuff like this for the kids, everybody, you know what I mean? But I've been doing that, it just go unnoticed. I post it on my page all the time, I, I feed my projects, my community, Christmas, everything, Thanksgiving, it goes unnoticed, but as far as the clubs and all of that, they don't want to see me succeed, but that's, that ain't the first time I've, I've been going through that my whole life, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to keep going no matter what, you feel me? Perfect. I like that was mission. Now, what's coming up new? What um, you got in the pocket that nobody knows about? Um, just music. I'm just gonna keep grinding, man. I, I like I like the way it's going. Every time I drop music, I go further and further and further. So I can't see no reason to stop it if I just keep it, keep progressing. You feel me? All right, cool. So I'm pretty cool with uh, DJ Cole Red, right? Right, right. That's my All dog. Right, now I need you to be honest with me. Uh huh. What's that one thing that Cole Red needs to improve on? Cole Red don't listen. He don't, he don't listen. listen. Listen, I, I think I already know that one. Already. He don't listen, yo. <laughs> Little bro don't listen, man. He hard headed, man. But he, but he's so motivated and he hungry, so I keep him around, man, because he pushed me just as well as I push him. Perfect. Yeah. That sounds great. Yo, right. I'll be out. Pleasure, my brother. Right. Oh. Oh, it's my dog right here. Yeah. We got that record on the way. Oh, what, what, what record uh, yeah. you got on Level the way? Up. Some oh. exclusive shit, man. Level up. Prophecy 973. I'll be out. Clutch on the beat, man. It's going down, man. You already I can't know, wait. man. Ooh, ooh, wait. Is, is, uh, can I get like a sneak peek? Can I get like a listening session? It's coming. I want to I mean, hear this out. I mean, if, they, if people got me on IG, they got him on IG, they're going to get a little, little listen to little it. You snippet. feel me? A little, little small Indeed. little snippet, you know? But we're going to drop the shit hard body soon, man. We're going to promote yeah, the shit. You already know. The video going to come out soon, too, with the shit. Perfect. You already Yo, know. Listen, gentlemen, y'all amazing, great. Yo, actually, how many scores have you pointed? 73. My team has scored two points just now. So I got all 73. I got a career high in a celebrity basketball game. They never seen it done before. You know what I mean? I'm making it happen. You feel me? Gang. Yes, Regis World Ride Radio here. And it was party. Girl for the trendy topic. Shock Eyes Trigger in the building. Now, I want to ask you, what's the difference between Jimmy Newton and Shock Eyes It's no difference. Like, Jimmy Newsom is Shock Eyes Like. Like, I, I, I didn't make up my I didn't make up my name. My name was given to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I had old, 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 older niggas started calling me Shotgun. My mother always called me Shug. That was a childhood nickname. My name, like in my neighborhood, like the older niggas called me Shotgun. Like that was. So you, it was you being Jimmy that got you that name. Huh? It was you being Jimmy that yeah. got you that name. Yeah, now, always been I, me. You've been through a bunch of battles. Yeah. But I want you to tell me, out of all those battles, what's the highlight one where you're like, yo, this one, this one was like we went toe to toe and I ended up winning this. Maybe me and Hitman, or me and Ass. You know what I'm saying? Out of them two. So what, what was it about those two that was kind of like that stood out of the other ones? Just the intensity. You know what I'm saying? The electrifying. You know what I'm saying? Or, or maybe me and um. New Jersey Turk. I got a couple favorites, you know what I'm saying? All right. Now, listen. You got any projects coming up that people should stay tuned to? Yeah, yeah. I got the Fat Poppy tape out right now. Um, I got the um single on iTunes right now. You already know. The Fat Nigga Dance. And I got the challenge going on on Instagram, too. You know what I'm saying? I got a um, EWR2 coming out. Me and my partner, R started great. And then I got the What's Your Life Like album, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just working. I got a couple battles. I'm getting ready to go to London for a battle. So, you know, I'm just trying to work. You feel me? Hey, listen, we're working out here at Regis Worldwide Radio. Stay tuned. What's coming next? 
Shotgun shoot, negro, what up? Listen, DK in the house. Now listen, you were, I saw you playing out there. You were a bit rough in the paint. You were cleaning uh, it up. Uh, yeah, I seen it, I seen it. How yeah. many points did you score? I said I have four points in, in 30 seconds. Four points in 30 seconds? In 30 seconds, you feel me? You know so what I'm saying? you only went out for 30 seconds? I was only in for 30 seconds because I came late, but my oh. team still won because I knew they was going to hold it down. Oh, so you knew your team was going to win, so already, you didn't want to I already knew what it was, you know what I'm saying? I knew the outcome, you know what I'm saying? The, the orange team is trash. They tried to wear the Halloween colors and scare us, but they couldn't do it. And they don't have it. They don't have it. They don't have it. Now listen, I know you have do a lot of collaboration. Uh, out of all the collaborations that you've done, which has been the best one out of all of them? Out of all the co collaborations, out of yeah. all of them. Out of all of them. The best one where you're like, I'm a, one was just... I, I'm going to I'm have to go with my bro fat. My fat. bro fat boy, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my bro fat. You know what I'm saying? Fat boy gang all day. And that's just what it is. You feel me? Yeah. All right, listen. In the next basketball game, uh, I need you to give me a projection of how many points you're going to score. Um, I'm probably going to score 47 points. 47. I'm going to make it an odd number. How many rebounds? I'm probably going to have 17 rebounds. How many steals? I'm going to have six steals. Six and a half, six and a half. Six and a half? Yeah. How can you, wait, how can you have six and a half in one game? Because I was smoking a, I was smoking before I came, and then I'm going to get tired, and then they're going to probably take me out and or whatever, and I, I ain't going to finish the fast break. <laughs> Yo, listen, <laughs> Retix Worldwide Radio, make sure to stay tuned. Oh, uh, hold up. Do you got any projects coming up? Say it again? Projects coming up. Um, I'm saying, you know, you can look out for the um, the cold. I'm about to drop that song ASAP, and it's, a, it's another song. It got the N-word in it. I'm not really trying to say it on the camera. But um, when I drop it, just make sure you be on the lookout, man. Hey, yo, shout out my dude, Radio 973. You know what I'm saying? That's my producer. We about to take it all away, yeah? All right, perfect. Listen, read your worldwide radio. Read this worldwide radio here. Your boy, Anik was party girl for trending topic. I'm here with Mike Ruga himself. Thanks. Hey, Mike, listen, you had an amazing game today. How many points did you score? 21 with injury. 21 with an injury. Explain that, please. I got a bad ankle. Oh, so you scored 21 points with a bad angle. All right, because I saw that. I saw you went up for a dunk. I saw you went up for a dunk. How and did they, that? They blocked it. It's all wavy, though. They used to block Iris in two. All right, cool. All right, I like that. I like that. I like that. Now, listen, I'm going to ask you, what project you got coming up? Project that's in what? Well, any type of project you got coming up. Because I heard there's a couple things cooking. Oh, fact. Yeah, I got my Freedom Mind podcast coming up. That podcast is going to make noise. Remember, I said it here first. That podcast is going to make noise. The Freedom Mind podcast. Now, listen, I'm going to let you know. I got a podcast, Negro al Oscuro. Your girlfriend's on the topic. El duro de lo duro, fuerte lo fuerte, que se acotó con tu tía. That's going to be and still is the number one podcast. I'm just letting you know. You can start your podcast. That's good. That's good. That's my, good. My, my podcast is going to be. I like competition. Podcast. Exactly. I like competition. Right. Hey, listen, actually, I'm going to switch it up real quick. I totally forgot to. Listen, a lot, of your, a lot of your videos, to me, I see them dangerous. I they feel are. like they're dangerous. How do you stay? How, how do you stay doing them? A little bit of honey. <laughs> <laughs> he said a little bit of honey. Listen, we just grow my radio, Mike Rugo, baby. Okay, stay baby. tuned, Bryce is coming up. Free this world wide radio, baby. Anagos party here. Your girlfriend's trending topic. El duro de la duro. Fuerte lo fuerte. Que se acotó con tu tía. And I'm here with Butter. What is it? Butter? What is this? Now, listen. How do, how, do you, how do you come up with this name? It's a name. Uh, I mean, I created whatever. Butter's like a you know I mean? dude that's on the road. Okay. And Sadiz is the name I made up. I like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Smooth. <laughs> I like it. Listen. What, what project you got coming up? What are you going to do? What's, what's coming up big? I want the big one. My EP getting ready to drop. Um, October 31st, it's called The 100K Project. Um, we got Duke Jones, like 100K, so it's in 75 stores worldwide right now. Um, and a movie, I'm actually doing something with a movie uh, that's actually airing tomorrow. Um, somebody that's part of my team is actually in it, starring it, um, and I'm just grinding hard, bro, that's pushing my projects. Now listen, how do, you stay, how do you stay focused dropping all these music, dropping all these big projects? Because listen, if you're doing a movie, it's consuming your time. If you're doing an EP, it consumes your time. How do you stay focused on doing all this? Just consistency, man. You got to stay consistent and stay focused every time and, and everything can work out. Make sure you pray. Hey, listen, we stick to it. Regis Worldwide Radio, baby. Your girlfriend's turning topic. I know this party here. Peace. We just roll by already across the trendy topic. I never was party here, and I'm trying to do an interview with these people who are apparently paying no attention to me. <laughs> but I'm still here, though. Listen, 
This is the hottest radio station, and I'm gonna just let you know. So, um, what happened? I was the basketball game. Oh man, it was all right, man. You know what I mean? I told him from the jump, I got bad ankles. How many points did you score first of all? Let's talk about that. I got zero with two assists. Okay. All right. Hey, listen, two assists though. You you produced. Yo, this is Rod the Beat. We here with Live TV. Um, we 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 appreciate it, but we like listen. to take over. My man, Purdy Purd. Purdy Purd. Get that shit, oh, Purdy. Right, 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 hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey listen. Apparently, it's their interview, not my interview. They they run the show here, apparently. But anyways, listen. How do you guys how do you guys stick with this? How do you co consistently produce and consistently create this? Oh, oh, we just keep working. That's it's Jersey, baby. We just keep working. Jersey. Regis Grover already here, you already know. Negros Party, Grover Trendy Topic, Azula de la Luna, Fuerte de la Fuerte, que se acotó con tu tía. And I'm here with... Al Miller. No, oh, yeah, damn, I was oh, going to say your name. Listen, Al, how do you come up with this event? And what what's the purpose of constructing an event with all these artists, all these famous people, but for the kids? How? Why? Honestly, I've been mentoring some kids in this program, the, y, uh, the, um, the ERC program for the YMCA. They great kids. They just been through some some struggles in their life. They've been uh, they've been sex trafficked. They've been in gangs, and they needed they needed an outlet people to show them that they love them, and that's why I did it. Now you keep it. Now what keeps you motivated to do these events? Because I know there's a, an emotional toll sometimes yeah. when you work with these kids. Because you know, unfortunately, we can't save them all. Yeah. But what keeps you in here working with these kids, providing for these kids? Honestly, I've been through a lot as a kid. And I've been through, I'm talking about everything you could think of, I've been through it. So I know how it is to not have an outlet. So that's why I did it. And that's now, why I'm going to keep doing it every year. Last but not least, are we going to make this an annual event? Hell yeah. Every year it's going to happen. Right, it's, not going, it's not going to be basketball every year. We're going to have uh, baseball. We're going to have flag football. We're going to have soccer. You know? Right, listen, and we're going to also have a game show as well to where people going to get slimed if they answer the questions the wrong way. Right, so cool. it's going to be fun. All right, listen, listen. I'm going to let you know right now. All right. Baseball game, I'm playing. All right. Dunk tank game, I'm playing. All right. And any other game that comes after this, I'm playing. All right, say All right, that. Cool. You in it. We're in it. Listen, we just go on radio. Stay tuned. Woo! Listen, first, first of all, before we start about your music, word on the street is that you're... Top three is Jay-Z, Biggie, and Tupac. Will you agree to that? Yeah. All right. So now my question to you is, I need you to put them in order. Biggie, Tupac, and Jay-Z? That's your order. From right. number one to three. Number one? Jay-Z, Biggie, Tupac. I like that, guy. I think I would have gone the same way. Now listen, I know you dropped uh, a few mistapes, uh, the free speech, 25 days. How do you feel about the outcome that they had and what you got coming up next? Uh, I mean, it was just a level, like, you feel me? I think everything is a level, so when I got coming down next, it's a, the next level, a new level. We're going to level up. That's really it. Uh, feel me? I right, feel perfect. good. Now, your next project, when is it dropping? Give me something that nobody knows. That's what I want right now. Um, I'll be dropping the video and the single in the next couple weeks. You feel me? My next project should be coming out like November or something like that. It's called Swamp. You know what I'm saying? My new single called Monarch. Monarch. Nobody knows that yet, so it's the first time, really. Oh, you heard it here first. You know what I'm saying? It's lit, uh, so. Now, listen. I saw you in the game. How many points you scored? Hey, yo, I had a good, solid two. A good, solid two points. You know what I'm saying? It was solid lit. ones. Solid. No bro. iffy ones. Nah. Not straight splash. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, I, we needed them. You, when the team needed them, you scored. We needed them. <laughs> All right, listen. Once again, yo, Regis Worldwide right Ready, man. Crush Calhoun. You already heard it. You heard it here first. Make sure to say it. Where can we follow you at? Yo, hey, at Crush Calhoun on everything. C R U C H C A L H O U M, man. Perfect. Listen, make sure to follow. I think it was part here, baby. Regions worldwide. Peace. Ooh.